This is Tajay of the Mighty Souls of the Mischief Crew. I'm chilling with my man Festo. My man ain't blessing my man. Oh, you know he's dope. Yeah. And right now, you know, we're just maxing in the studio. We're hailing from East Oakland, California. And um, sometimes it gets a little hectic out there. But right now, you know, we're going to up you on how we just chill. Dollar seven digits. Call up Bridget. Her man's a midget. Plus, he got friends. Yo, I can dig it. Here's a 40 spigot. You know it's frigid. I got him chilling in the cooler. Break out the rule. So it's official, the cut has started. So we didn't end up getting to the 100 kilos, which yes, disappointing, but I just couldn't continue bulking and being in that crappy frame of mind all the time. Like I was getting to the point where I was just unsatisfied on like a day-to-day day-to-day basis my training felt pretty rubbish uh, my sleep was pretty garbage I just didn't I just didn't feel good and I didn't think the the process of gaining weight and like building more muscle tissue was outweighing the fact that I just felt fucking shit all the time so Am I sacrificing a little bit of muscle tissue uh, being gained? Yes, probably. But, like, I'm not on, like, a massive time crunch. Like, I'm not in my fucking 30s. So, I don't have to have a end date to get to a specific size. You know what I mean? So, we are now in our RFL. So... We started at around 97, 96 kilos. And this is actually week two, but obviously with bulking and whatnot, mindset was in a really shit frame of mind. So I didn't film much. So this is the first week on filming. So I'm gonna say this first week. But I'm now sitting at 91 kilos. So six kilos down in like, almost two weeks pretty much two weeks we'll say two weeks so a lot of that is water weight obviously um and now we are digging into fat like the first week probably just a lot of water um and then when a lot of the water's gone we are now probably dropping body fat so i'm feeling a lot better um we are on very low calories like i'm on 1700 um that was like pretty close to like prep calories but the goal is to, to, to drop as much body fat as possible uh yeah. as quickly as possible so then we can continue you know getting into a gaining phase and get like continue that gaining phase for a long period of time because when you're leaner and you start your bulk at like a leaner uh you know physique you can commit to a longer bulk and a longer bulk will equal more muscle mass in turn so yeah that's where i'm currently at um i hope you enjoyed the start of the video a bit cinematic you know um we have legs tonight so i'm going to stop rambling and go through legs and then talk to you about programming and whatnot am i on program again yes no maybe we are but I'll talk to you about that soon. So I will see you at Legs. Take everything from them. Become the world ender. Fight or be forgotten.
and good afternoon. It's the next day and we actually trained chest instead of legs that I was going to train because I feel like I do have a little bit more energy on the weekends. So then I'm going to dedicate the weekends to legs. And I don't think many people train legs throughout the week anyway. I feel like for most people that I speak to, they train legs on the weekend because it's just, they can spend more time there because it takes a long time. Anyway, we are on program now as well again. So there was a long, I want to say like two, I want to say two months. It could have even been three months, but I'm going to say two months where I wasn't on program when I was training. I was just training what I kind of felt like. And I'm going to be honest, training off program for me, honestly, I don't train as hard. Like I, I train off of feel. And if you're not feeling good that day, you're not going to push too hard. But the thing with tracking like training on program is you have these objective numbers. Like it doesn't matter what, how you're feeling. If you want to progress, you have to do more than you did last time. And the numbers don't lie. So yeah, in hindsight, like, yeah, training on a program, it probably does make definitely, it definitely does make more sense, but that break was good. Because now I'm more excited to train on program and stuff. So things are in a good spot. So we are cutting now. And I want to make the most of this cut. Like I don't want to be losing any size. I want to be maintaining as much size as possible. And to do that, it makes sense to just go back on program. And then make sure you're still hitting those numbers, if not more. Otherwise, you will be losing size. And I feel like if I wasn't on program, if I was feeling shit that day, I wouldn't be working as hard and I wouldn't be doing more than I did last week. So if you're cutting, like get on program. If you're bulking, still a program would be, you could say optimal, but you could probably get away with not being on a program when you're bulking because your energy will be higher week to week pretty much because you like you do have the f like the proper fuel there but yeah that wraps up the yeah, but that wraps up the video thank you for watching if you did enjoy it please like comment subscribe do whatever you want to do and i'll see you in the next one also yeah i got a haircut literally this morning so yeah that's what it's looking like you know anyway I'll see you in the next one, hopefully soon. Goodbye.